Whatever is the pain, whatever has made you uncomfortable and left you in shame, is ending today. This is the reason Jesus came to the world to save you from every troubles. This is your heritage, reward and gift from Him. He was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon Him and by His stripes you are healed. By virtue of His coming, your pain is over. He came purposely to end the pain that has marred and scattered your life. He has paid the price and the pain must end in your life. He has taken away the sorrow and the pain. He wants to give you joy unending, ceaseless rest and celebration. Whatever represents pain and shame in your life is coming to an end in Jesus' name. It is never in God's plan for you to be in pain. When you slept, the enemy so tears, but what shall stand when God has not commanded not to? He knows the plans He has for you, plans for you to prosper and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Why then would the pain not end? The pain can stand the plan and presence of God. The pains can't pull down the word of God in your life. He has stepped in and the pain is ending today. The scripture made it clear to us that the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus has come to give you life, and that you may enjoy this life abundantly. You cannot be in pain and enjoy life. Jesus cannot step into your life, and your situation and the pain and shame would not give way. When he steps into your life and your situation, the pain and the shame comes to an end. It must give way to the working power and presence of the Almighty God. This will be made manifest in your life. Celebrate for the pain is ending this season. Celebrate for He is giving you life without pain and shame. The psalmist David wrote in his psalms that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wound. It is only him that can heal and revive a broken spirit and heart. The psalmist David wrote from his experience. He had a painful experience in life, but in those seasons, God was close and took away the pain and restored peace, joy, and gladness to him. God will save you. He will heal your wound and revive your spirit again. It will not be so forever. He is close and set to end the pains in your life. He is close and wants to revive your spirit again. I do not know what pain you are experiencing now. It might be pain from sickness and infirmities. It might be pain from the loss of job or employment. It might be loss of a dear one. But one thing is sure, and that is God is close to those with broken hearts and spirits and would revive their crushed spirit and soul. God is near. He has stepped into your situation. He has seen your pain and your heart and is going to end the pain and cause you to smile again. He is healing you of every form of sickness and diseases. He is replacing and giving you a better means of livelihood. He is giving you a new job and contract. And like job, He is restoring back the loved ones the enemy stole from you. He promised to give you double for everything that the enemy stole and cost you pain and tears. Your tears and pain has reached heaven and has drawn the attention of heaven and God and change is happening. God is not unjust to ignore the cry and pain of His children. You are His dear child and He delights in your joy and will not be silent when He sees you cry and groan in pain. He will perform a miracle for you, and all will see it. Rejoice, for heaven is backing you, and set to cause you to smile and laugh again. Your pain may have been due to barrenness. God is also bringing it to an end. He will make you fruitful to fulfill His commandment in the Bible. He will give you children that will not die, but become answers to their generation. As He did for Elizabeth, He will do for you. This is your time of visitation. This is your time of rest and restoration. Believe it, and do not be like Zachariah that asks how it would be. There is nothing too hard for God to do. At 90, 
it did it for Sarah. Elizabeth also gave birth. It is your season also, and God is ending the pain of childlessness and barrenness. Your children will surround you. It is your season. Your tears are being wiped away. You shall be clothed with a new dress and made to laugh and smile in the company of others. Believe this and you shall see it. It is your season and it is your time. Your pain may be like that of Jabez, the pain of emptiness and poverty. People may have mocked you because of your financial status. God is ending that season and wiping the disgrace. God is causing you to be fruitful and prosperous again. He did it for Jabez when he called upon him in his distress and pain. He blessed him and enlarged his coast and made him great and prosperous among his brethren. It is not over for you. It is not your end. God is blessing you this season. God is blessing your hands and what you do. Like Jacob, he will make you great in a strange land and put an end to the pain caused by the devil. You shall be wealthy. You shall take over territories. You shall be blessed all round. Maybe like Job, you were financially stable before the enemy came and took away everything and left you in pain. God did not leave Job in that state of pain and reproach. God restored Job and blessed him with more resources and riches than he had before. God that restored Job and took away the pain and the reproach from Job's life will do it for you. You will not have a better yesterday. Every day of your life shall be blessed. You shall not lack anything good again. He declared that he is your shepherd and you shall not want. Therefore, the pain of lack and shame cannot stand because he owns all things and is set to bless and lift you. It is your season and it is an end to the pain, shame, reproach, and limitations. It is not time to remain in depression or think of suicide. It is time to get alone with God. It is time to be in His presence. It is time to seek His help. Like Hannah, rise and meet Him in Shiloh. Like Jabez, pray for God to change your situation. Like Job, engage and pray for your friends and enemy. Like David, call for His assistance. He is near and is waiting for your authorization and permission to step in and end the shame, limitation, and take away the pain. He is near and wants you to smile again. This is what He wants to do. Pray yourself out of that pain and problem. Sing your way into victory. Align yourself with the Word of God and put an end to the pain that has become unbearable in your life. You are not a failure and cannot end in pain and rejection. We serve a big and mighty God who is capable of doing anything. Engage in Him and see the changes. Engage in Him and put an end to the negative life. It is your season to smile again. It is your season to break forth. It is your season to take dominion. Celebrate because He has taken away the pain and the sorrow forever.